Hi everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. Thank you for joining me today. You know, I've changed the oil in my vehicles all my life and I've never had a problem. But I've heard more and more people are going to a device called an oil extractor. Instead of draining the oil from underneath the vehicle, you take a hose and you go into the filler tube and you siphon out the fluid into a container. Now, these come from various companies, but here in Canada, they start getting pretty expensive. They start at $100 and up. And I thought, with all the stuff I have in my house, I should be able to make my own, to suit my own needs, just by buying relatively small parts for a fraction of the cost. So let's take a look at what I picked up today. The first thing we're going to need is a catch basin to put the old oil into. This is a five gallon pail, but not just any pail. This one is translucent. You can actually see the level of fluid that's going to be on the inside. It's going to be great because then you'll know when it's time to empty it. This is like a big measuring cup. This is a lid that we've got, has a seal on the inside, it locks down in place. What we're going to need is a vacuum source. Everybody's got one. It's called a vacuum cleaner. For me, I'll be using my shop vac. I'll be attaching it into the lid with various plumbing in order to create a vacuum on the inside. I'll also be using brass fittings for my hose and I want it to be on the lid as well. So let's get started. I'm going to mark and cut out a hole for the vacuum. The reason I went with a brass fitting is because I can leave this one in the lid permanently with the hose on the back. And if I decided to go with a larger or smaller hose, I simply have to change this fitting. I'm going to glue these pieces together. And I'm going to put some silicone glue at the joint to seal it to the lid and then I'll glue the other coupler to the top to sandwich the whole thing together. And finally I'll put another short piece of pipe in here That way, I got this rubber coupler. It will go on top and my shop vac nozzle can fit on here. Now I don't want the oil to just splash into the bottom of the pail, so I'm going to use a short hose, attach it to the bottom of the lid, and hopefully the oil will flow down to a shallow angle on the side and just flow down to the bottom. I made a couple of different hoses with adapters at the end. This one is 3 8 inch inside diameter and this one is a 1 quarter inch. I'm going to try the 1 quarter inch today to see how it goes. And remember, when you use your shop vac, use ear protection. Well, it took about 15 minutes to take the oil out of the motor. A little longer than what I had hoped for. But I'm learning. This is the first time I've ever used one of these things. And I think the next time I'm going to start with the larger hose. Take out the bulk of the oil first. And then if I need to go in deeper, clean it up a little bit more, I can always use the smaller hose. And second and most important, I should have warmed up the oil. I should have taken the bike for a ride, got the oil nice and warm. It would have flowed a lot smoother. But I forgot. The total cost for my pail and all the fittings, $35. A lot cheaper than buying the commercial brand. 
So thank you very much for watching my videos today. Have fun, stay safe, and save your money.